Hello and welcome. All right. Oh. Always something to be found. And here I found that one. There's a microphone on. It is. But two of those bags, where'd they come from? Our compliments. Anyway, Sobeys, Foodland, Fresco, Safeway, IGA, 50 cents for cool. Anyway, these I will put in the car and actually use at the grocery store. Some stores have them and they're just too small. Here is something funny. I've always kept this in my car for years, but not for a while. See, I had dogs. I love dogs. They were great. Uh, and the highlight years were when I had three. Bubert, Ashley, and Jesse. Jesse with the Springer Spaniel. Once you have looked into the eyes of a Springer Spaniel, you are helpless. Anyway, as Richard is, he doesn't have a dog, but um, he's in the north. And what I would keep this in the car for is, of course, I had dogs. And even after they were gone, I would keep it in the car because sometimes a stray dog would appear. And they'd have a collar, and we needed to catch it, and we would try and catch it, assuming it was friendly. And they were all friendly. And um, actually, there was one dog. His name was Boris. And for three years in a row, one time in the spring, he would show up at Lawrence Park Collegiate. He'd just wander in. And the first year, I didn't know who was like, well, I don't know who it is, what's going on. He was like, oh, yeah, bye. And there he was, wandering down the hall. And it was some kid who told me, oh, that's Boris. He lives across the ravine. I said, oh, okay. So I actually used my wallet chain then to lead him back home. He lived beside another family that I knew with a wonderful dog named Charlie. And uh, I knocked on the door and said, hi, I found Boris. They said, oh, thank you. Anyway, two more years running, he would show up. Only once a year. He just, I don't know, decided time to go to the school. And there was another one, I remember. This was kind of, you know, I found it and I got it and I kept it safe and found the tag and called whatever. There was a guy who, um, I guess his daughter had taken for a walk and somehow it had escaped from the house or escaped from the yard or escaped from whatever. And he was in a wheelchair. Oh, he was just beside himself. And oh, so happy when I appeared with the dog. So this lead, which some people said, boy, it looks like a horse lead, and maybe it does. This I will send away. Did that go in? I think so. With Richard. And here is a book, The Sayings of Poor Richard. And I have no idea what this is for, or why. Poor Sayings, Richard, from 1733 to 1755. Never spare parson's wine, nor the baker's pudding, because it should be short, like a winter's day, lest you are too troublesome, haste in a way, a house without women, and firelight, is like a body without soul or spirit. Kings and bears often worry their keepers, light purse heavy heart, he's a fool that makes his doctor his heir. Uh, never take a wife till thou hast a house and a fire to put her in. He's gone, and forget nothing but to say farewell to his creditors. Love well, whip well. Great talkers, little doers. A rich rogue is like a fat hog who never does a good Never does good. I can't read. A rich rogue is like a fat hog who never does good till as dead as a log. The favor of the great is no inheritance. Fools make feasts and wise men eat them. Anyway, poor Richard Sings. He that falls in love with himself will have no rivals. Interesting. All right. 
Now here, wipe your pants off. SpongeBob SquarePants VHS. This too is something that I think. Yep, that's what it is. It looks in good shape. I think it too can go away. Honda Rotary Mower. HR73 Owner's Manual. That is an interesting thing. I, I have no idea. I, I have no idea why I would have this or anything. So, yes, it can go. Now, here is something. This is rather historic. Unfortunately, it's suffered some damage over the years. But this, my grandfather taught auto mechanics at Danforth Tech. And here we have things that are, uh, it's on numbered pages, so they can't be ripped out. And anyway, here, Mr. Spires, job number 19, Auburn 898, November 17, checking and adjusting steering gear, front axle assembly, and brakes. Shop charge fifty cents by cash. Oh, it must have been fifty cents. It wouldn't have been fifty dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mister Stun, Stun, yes. November one, one clutch paint two dollars and thirty three cents. Paint and solder fifty cents. Cash five dollars. Ball joint gaskets, spring shackle, two fittings, uh, inserts to make felt gasket, one wheel nut, nine cents, the felt gasket, twenty. Anyway, the entire charge. Oh, I guess this was two. Oh, it was on a Ford A. Oh, okay. There are th okay. These are three things. Oh, no. One, okay, November 24th, it was five bucks. And November 28th and December 1st, which sounds like a, over a weekend, total of $5.57. Mr. William Thompson, Graham Page, job number 22, red hose, 50 cents cash. See, this is an interesting thing. The, this is Mr. Geo Ellens, Essex 1928. Two steering knuckle pins, four steering knuckle bushings, four expansion washers, uh, $2.44. Mr. Campbell, Buick, 1931. Front wheel bearings, six dollars and seventy cents cash. Anyway, the funny thing is, is to this day, like my grandfather used to deal with these people at Royal Auto Parts, which is on Avenue Road, and um, it moved, and it since, of course, things happen. It's no longer because you know, along come the big companies who buy up all the little companies, and anyway, but still. I now deal with my, okay, my grandfather dealt with the grandfather, my father dealt with the father, and my brother and I deal with the son. He is now in another place, but I still call him for auto parts. Anyway, this book, as you can see, is rather, um, well, oh, it's got other stuff in here, scholarship fund. Well, perhaps what they did, I'm not sure. Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they took whatever they, the, whatever, the shop charge or whatever, and, and turned it into a, oh, what's this? Cash account from shop's charge or fee and shop's deposit. Interesting. 
Anyway, for people who were way back at Danforth Tech students, they might know all of these people. Maybe this is a summary of what they did. Shop charges. Oh, yeah. There they are. A summary. Including fees. School supplies. Interesting. Well, I think I'm going to, with great care, put this into the box for my brother. He will understand what it is. And my grandfather taught auto mechanics at Danforth Tech between 1930-1962. Unfortunately, he died before we were born. He did. Now here is my yearbook from Northern Secondary School in 1983. And I wonder, they were in here. It doesn't look like, oh, there's still a pencil in there for people to sign. It doesn't look like I had a whole lot of people sign. Boy. It's, um, yeah, so there's Walter Sabrinsky, who unfortunately died not long after this. Mr. Flew, Flo, Stu Scott. Oh my. It's funny, there's a fellow named, his name was. Pugsley, Robert Pugsley, when I t went to Lawrence Park to work there years later, his sons were there. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder what's up with these people. Anyway, I don't know why I didn't have more people sign that year. Oh, yes, there's Jim Hutton and uh, Clark Pulford. He was a uh, great. And oh, there's Mrs. Lomp. She was there for a long time. I think she just retired very recently. She was there a long time. And the library and the secretaries. And yes. Uh, Mr. Olford. Anyway. If I saw, if I had more comments. David, this is God writing in your yearbook. You have committed several crimes, including and on your 12 parking tickets. Above all, you used my name in vain. God damn it. The reason I'm writing in this yearbook is to congratulate you on your accomplishments. Oh, I'd also like to wish you good luck in 13 and have a heavenly summer. Yes. Anyway, there it is. It's a little bent. It's a little warped. But it is a yearbook from Northern Secondary School in 1983. It is. I will save that. I will find a good place to put it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these sayings of poor Richard. This is interesting. Beware, beware. They'll cheat without scruple. Who can without who can without fear? The wise understand half a word. Speak with contempt of none from slave to king. One good husband is worth two good wives, for the scarier things are the more they're valued. These are just random things. I have not no workman without tools, nor lawyer without fools. Can live by their rules. A painful preacher, like a candle bright, consumes 
himself in giving others light. Speak and speed. The close mouth catches no fly. The closed mouth catches no flies. Visit your aunt, but not every day, and call at your brothers, but not every night. Money and good manners make gentlemen. Late children, early orphans. Hmm. Well, let's see about this. Oh, this is from 1751. Pray don't burn my house to roast your eggs. I will see about this. All right, now, I did say over here was a printer. There it is. Jeez. It is a Commodore 1526 printer. Does it have the top of it? It does not seem to. It does seem to roll. It's certainly badly yellowed. Except, of course, for the color. Maybe the place that had paper on it forever and ever. Now, I will have to get some paper and get um, a power cable. And um, see, it does have a ribbon in it. And who knows, maybe it works. The 1526 was the one after the 1525. It certainly had a much better character set, a much better print head and all that. And it was meant to work with things with the serial, the Commodore serial thing, as in the 64 and the 128, the Vic-20, I guess, the Plus 4 and the C-16. And it was a tractor feed printer, It was. So, in the next video, I will find paper, I will find the power cord, I will plug it in, and we'll see what's what. And I'm just wondering if that is all there is right now. I think so. So I will go on forth and look for things to go with this. And uh, maybe we'll leave you with one more random saying from poor Richard. How few there are who have courage enough to own their faults or resolution enough to mend them. Thanks for being here. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye for now. And cheers. Not bad. But not. Not as good as what I'm missing. Bye for now. Oh.